Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yo, you know, I don't remember, man, you know, but I met him on the stoop. And I was like, oh, you know, Dan, Dan, Dan and, and Kevin was like, yo, I know you, man. You know, we met already. And I was like, wow. You're a sponsor uh, already? Yeah, I have a sponsor, uh, Wayne, and I have a step sponsor, which I go to, do, like last night I did service. I went to uh, North Elizabeth, New Jersey, and we went to a uh, uh, halfway house. And they like take people out of now. I'm on like parole. I'm not supposed to go to Jersey. Yeah. But this guy called my parole, and they gave him permission to take me out of state Dude. anytime they want. Oh, you know, as long as it's like, you, man. yeah, you know, so things are working go, out. Bro. You know, things are working out for me, and I'm only 13 days into this. You know, and I feel really good. And like last night, you know, like me and my wife, man, like she threw me out Super Bowl Sunday. So last night I was talking to her. I was telling her how good I was doing for her. She was like, you only got 13 days. I seen you with 13 days before. Your 13 days are sloppy. Your 13 days don't mean shit because the next day, I don't trust you. The next day you'll be high. And I was like, she said, you always, because she thinks I'm doing this for her. And she, you know, like every time I talk to her, she's like, well, you got to do it for yourself. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, like I'm repeating myself because I'm telling you, I'm not doing it for you this time. And I'm like, you know what? And then she told me, listen, I'm going to call you right back. And I was waiting by the phone because I love her. Then you know? You so I'm that. waiting by the phone, waiting. And all this shit started kicking up in me. And, you know, like, she, she's a trigger. And I realized that oh, last yeah, night. Yeah. So I turned around and I sent, her, so, uh, I sent her a text that, you know, I must be really like shit to you to do something like that to me. You know, but I know I deserve it. You know? And now I guess we're even because you hurt me the way I, I must have hurt you. And uh, then this morning, I did my meditation. I did my prayer. I called my step sponsor because I got to read from the big book, uh, page 86 mm -hmm. to 89. I read that every morning. And uh, then I read my prayers. And then I, I called my wife and I, I basically told her, I said, you know, um, you're no good for me in my recovery. You know, that's what I told her. I said, you know, you're no good for me in my recovery. I don't know why you jumped off the phone that way. You know, you you lead me to believe that you already replaced me. And if so, good luck with your relationship and everything like that. I wish nothing but the well for you. But I, I'm this, this is for me. And you're no good right now in my recovery. You know, so with that said, and that took... That's you wisdom, know, bro. You know, you that's don't know how much... And that's strength. But, you know, yeah, I mean, that shit, that shit took a lot from me. Right, baby. But, you know, I mean, oh, like, yeah, man. I was like, listen, man, you know, God bless you. And I'm always in debt for what you did for me, you know, because basically she saved my life. Because if God would have never put her in my life, I probably would never have the pain in my life to bring me back into the rooms for myself. I had to pull my dick out of the dirt. In the street. Pain's a motivator, baby. Yeah, you know? That's what they so, say, right? Yeah. So, you know, as long as I feel the pain, man, I'm good. You know, and things working out for me have right the fucking now. balls to feel that pain. Yeah. You know? It's and easy to lash like, out. Yeah. But to feel that shit, man, that's a fucking man in my So book, she, resp bro. she responded back like she always does. Oh, you got to do it for yourself. I can't be there for your recovery. And I already know that. You already told me that a thousand times. You know that too. You know, and I know that. But I mean, like, you know, I was expecting a different type of answer, but it didn't come. I'll tell you, man. You know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I have an ex-wife, and uh, who's the mother of my kids, and uh, we weren't talking. We weren't talking. I got a recovery. She told her. Yeah, I didn't want to get back with her, but I wanted respect. You know, I had six months. She wouldn't respond to me. Nothing person who congratulated me, the first person to, to text me, man, was her for my first year. You know, now we talk fucking all the time. It takes time, though. Yeah. It takes time to get someone's trust back, man. Yeah, well, she said that I heard it a lot, that uh, I, I, I consistently, on a daily basis, would line up. Uh, and I told her, I said, listen, you know, this is what I told her last night. I said, you know, but you know I'm sick. And it wasn't me lying to you. It was my disease lying to you. Fuck I yeah. said, because when, I come, when I'm clean and sober and I get my shit together, I said, you know I'm a good person. 
You know, because you fell in love with that person. You didn't fall in love with the addict and the drunk. You fell in love with the, the person that I am, you know? So, you know, I can't do nothing, you know. All I can do is do what I, I need for myself. You and you know what she yourself. told me? She told me, this is this is months late, real cast. She was like, look, you got to bring something to the table. And I'm not talking about, you know, this. You got to bring, like, a year or better. You got to bring you know, uh, a job. You gotta be, you know, she's like, because I'm, 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 I'm tired of, you know, coming home and I don't, walking into the doors and I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm gonna find you on the floor wasted or I'm gonna find you on a, uh, on a couch, catch, uh, on the couch, like the cat that just ate the goldfish. Because she says, that's what I walk into all the time. I know you did something. I don't know what you did. I don't know where you did it. But I know you did something, and I know you're lying about it, because I know you, you know? And then she said, I started feeling resentment from you, like, if I'm the bad one, because you couldn't get high around me, so now I'm feeling like, you know, I was, I'm, I, that she must have felt that shit coming out of me, like, you know, that fucking bitch, you know, I can't do shit because of her and this and that, you know? And I didn't know that that was coming out like that, yeah. you know? But when you're sick, you know, think you do things like, yeah. Uh, so last night I went to a uh, uh, halfway house and uh, we brought the meeting to those guys and they really needed it. And tonight I go to a meeting in Jersey again. And uh, this is the regular every Friday, every Friday at 6.30, I meet my sponsor on 24th Street and we go to Jersey and we do our meeting. Like he, he holds a meeting. So, that, that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. I'm working it, man. I'm working it. And that personal inventory is no, no joke, man. That shit is fucking kicking my I got ass. through the 12 steps once, man. It was... It ain't easy for anybody to no. look at that shit. No. We did some ugly Not shit, man. This is mine, right? What's that? This yeah, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Which one is mine, man? That feels full, actually. Wow. Well, this ain't full, but... Yeah. I'm going to get my ass up tomorrow, man. I'll catch you there. Yeah? At 10. Yeah, all right. I'll be there. I'm there every Brother, day. Brother, you're helping me already. You yeah, know what I mean? You know, That's how it every works. Every day I go there, man, 10 o'clock. And uh, today was a really good meeting, man. This guy came in. He had eight months. He was sharing, you know. And uh, I identified with a lot of shit he was talking about because he came from an Irish home. And, you know, and, you know, Irish people, we don't talk about our problems. We just deal with it. We soak in our own shit, man, and we just drink it away, you know? We drink to numb. Yeah. We don't drink to enjoy. We don't drink, you know, we don't, to be socialized, we drink to fucking numb and black out so we can forget our problems. But our problems never go away. They get worse as time goes very on. Bad. You know? And, like, my whole family, man, they, all of them got cirrhosis. They're all the men in my family, like, just, like, passed away. My father died when I was six years old. He was 31 years old. He died of cirrhosis of the whole Holy world. shit. How the fuck you die 